Welcome to the Tesla News Summary of Monday, February 6, 2023. Tesla Roddy. Researchers from Dalhousie University, funded by Tesla, have discovered a potentially crucial reason behind lithium-ion batteries' tendency to self-discharge. Their findings suggest that the commercial tape used to hold electrodes together in batteries can be a key contributor to the self-discharging process. Through laboratory experiments, they found that the polyethylene terephthalate in the tape decomposes and creates a molecule called a redox shuttle, which shuttles between the electrodes and leads to self-discharge. The findings have implications for the design and optimization of lithium-ion batteries and could help to limit side reactions in the battery cells. Tesla Roddy. Tesla enthusiasts have recently been a bit miffed over the absence of the original prototype's rear red light bar on the production beta Cybertruck. In response, Elon Musk has assured the public that the original red light bar will be included in the vehicle's production version. Tesla is now closer than ever to mass producing the long-awaited Cybertruck, which is expected to enter initial production sometime this summer. Despite the delays, Musk and other Tesla executives maintain that the Cybertruck will be worth the wait. 9 News. Tesla founder Elon Musk has revealed in a conference with investor Ron Barron that his work schedule has increased to 120 hours a week since taking over Twitter last year. He goes to sleep and wakes up only to work and has even provided mattresses for employees at the Twitter offices. Musk recently tweeted that the last three months have been extremely tough and he wouldn't wish the pain on anyone. His back and neck pain has been attributed to an injury he sustained at a birthday party years ago and he has had to undergo two surgeries to remedy the pain. DrivitzLaCanada.ca, Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, recently confirmed on Twitter that the company will attempt to launch Starship into orbit next month. The launch is planned to take place from Starbase in Texas and will last approximately 90 minutes. The Super Heavy boosters will be landing at sea, and Starship will softly land in the Pacific Ocean northwest of Kauai. In preparation for the launch, SpaceX has already completed a full wet dress rehearsal and filed the flight plan with the Federal Communication Commission. Further tests, including a full fire of all the engines, still need to be completed before the launch. This has been the Tesla News of Monday, February 6, 2023. The links to all cited articles are provided in the video description.